Good morning, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Um, I thought we should review some of the week's topics and that being about the energy exchanges between masculines and feminines. Um, I know there were some questions regarding one of the statements made uh, which Miss Isis sometimes she takes over and it is her own mind so um, as you may know about her story uh, she had a sister Nefertiti um, and her husband was Osiris and so Miss Isis um, had some issues with her sister and her husband um, so sometimes she takes over so, as we were discussing earlier in the week about family, um, family, according to Miss Isis, what she wanted to describe was, even if the masculine happens to do something by going astray, um, just let it go. Because what is important is, who is he caring for? Who does he care for, the masculine? Is he caring for the woman in his house or the woman on the street? Mm, how is he providing and catering? So as long as the masculine is always providing, giving, catering, this exchange shows sincerity. So in exchanges, we were also discussing about um, finances and money. So when it comes to that, uh, unfortunately in the 3D realm, people view that like it is some sacred product. But the reality is it is only a tool for trade. It's just a tool. So it is also an energy. So in the 3D, we say, okay, I'm using this tool to trade for something that will attain more of this tool or more quantity. So, um, for example, you are using the tool for a business prospect, then you would do a trade in order to attain whatever that prospect is, and it would continue to grow and develop um, for your usage. Now when it comes to exchange of energies, it is very important as the feminine and you are the receiver that you do not give the energy of an exchange which is giving to the masculine. Very important. When you do that, you give away your, the, the correct word, more so your dignity. You give away your dignity. How can the guy respect you because you're so willing to give? You therefore maybe don't hold yourself as a value. So as in Om Mane Pane Hom, the Om, Om, this is the sound of the universe, but it is also the meaning jewel. And the panehom, it is the lotus flower which is covering the jewel. So when the masculine is sincere with you, he is going to cover you because you are like a jewel to him. And therefore he does not want others to covet his jewel. And yes, it does sound like a property, I know. But it's not um, meant to be like that. I know women have fought for the equalities and everything, but this is the masculine and the feminine. So the masculine is more about covering, protecting, providing. How can the masculine provide if the feminine is giving it away? What's there to provide for at that point? So remember, it is important to view whatever, when it comes to finances, this is an exchange. So 
the masculine is cover, coveting the feminine. The masculine wants to possess or cover the feminine in order to protect it from anything, in anything, okay? And as for the feminine, it's better to relax. It is better to let go and it is better to accept. When you are given a compliment, say thank you rather than, oh, no, 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 not me. No, that's not being bashful. That's actually letting go of an energy which was a positive and you're denying it with a negative. Don't do this. Say thank you. Always say thank you and always say yes. If somebody says, would you like a glass of water? Yes, please. Even if you don't want it, always say yes. Always say thank you because you are a receiver and it is very important that you must, must say yes as a receiver because the more you accept, the more you will attain. That is the way of the energy flow and you need it to flow like water. Okay, uh, there's a lot of noise around me so I hope you all have a beautiful day and think about the flowing of water. Just stand and watch water flow today and think about how it's so naturally calming, settling, ease, ease. That is the flow of the feminine.